One of the strongest arguments in support of the existence of a past but now deliberately obscured, ancient, advanced, now lost civilization are the impossibly enormous, erosion-resistant megaliths, many far over a thousand tons in weight, seemingly effortlessly placed atop one another, as if the task was a simple one, tasks that appear to have required minimal effort to have once accomplished. Yet any explanation as to how these stones were moved or any logical explanation as to how they achieve such task remains elusive. Not only are there enormous, as yet unexplained megaliths all over ancient antiquity, the almost impossibly precise decoration and seemingly laser-cut accuracy found upon many of these ruins baffle all who gaze upon them or have the unthankful task of attempting to explain them. Nearly every aspect of these masterfully decorated stones many clearly of a tremendous age, are indicative of an advanced, now lost, stone-cutting technology. The reality that these decorated temples, tombs, and pyramids are found littering the countless inexplicable ruins found all over the world are nearly always accompanied by megalithic blocks, somehow quarried and once brought to each site and seemingly, no matter the size, lifted aloft, forming incredible trilithons or blocks placed into walls, perfectly placed with stunning precision. Another reason why stone ruins are such a great area for debate, and ultimately, a field which presents so many proofs for an advanced antediluvian civilization, one who were once capable of achieving such feats, is the unexplainable nature of these puzzling, inexplicably large blocks unexplainable according to mainstream academic opinion, and are predictably still widely overlooked. Regardless of this, our own research has exposed countless of these blocks. The pregnant woman in Baalbek, for example, once argued as being left where it now lay due to the incline, and its tremendous, once argued impossible size, is now however understood to have been found to have been part of a wall, with blocks now excavated discovered to have been of an even larger size. Without question, many undeniable proofs in direct contradiction of the currently defended mainstream theory which pertains to this being our first and only ever societal development after simply appearing after an ice age, this being our only ever technologically advanced civilization ever to have existed. And although again, as previously mentioned, our ancestors within known permitted history often re-inhabited these builds, they often left an archaeological footprint. Not only allowing those in the so-called know a stooge to pin the construction on, allowing the site to simply be brushed under the proverbial rug, but then to simply overlook any logical explanation as to how they were utilized by said capable claimed culprits. This secrecy deprives us of what we all deserve as equally sentient beings to provide us with the truth. During our own investigative research, in an effort to identify just how many times civilization had possibly experienced cataclysm here on Earth, a question which arose during our studies surrounding Italy's incredible ancient stone walls, when during said research, we thankfully stumbled across a very special part of this surviving relic. We found one of the ancient walls had two stages of ancient stonework in its makeup. One known as Cyclopean masonry, a substantial amount is now known regarding Cyclopean masonry, and has virtually been replicated in the modern era. However, the other style is known as polygonal masonry, a style we know nothing of. How they built these walls, or even how they created the randomly shaped blocks. It is a mystifying style of stoneworking and yet another piece of undeniable proof of lost knowledge and thus of a lost civilization. If one watches our video regarding Basda, not only is there enormous amounts of undeniable photographic evidence of advanced ancient tool marks, like a fingerprint cast in stone for millennia, these tool marks eventually enabling us to link the cave with countless ancient ruins the world over. Ultimately, we believe we have not only proven beyond doubt that these technologically advanced and once highly capable civilizations did exist, not only existed, but are still being blatantly denied and overlooked by funded individuals. 
Yet it is not only the feat of being able to cut the stones, but create structures from them of gargantuan sizes, all once perfectly refined with such delicacy, masterful cutting ability and finish, and to say such tasks were achieved with mere copper or similar metals, is a lie so preposterous that even those providing explanation must know it's a lie, and this willingness to do so for funding we find highly compelling.